Hi Sagittarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Thank y'all so much for liking the video. I really appreciate all of your support. We're just going to see what spirit wants you to know. The details to this reading are located in the description box, but just be sure to take what resonates, leave what does not resonate for someone else. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's procrastinating. Okay, this Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of planning, okay? Um, a lost opportunity. The Ace of Swords in reverse, this is... Clouded judgment here, okay? Then we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This Emperor thinks a lot about you. Okay, and they're over, this emperor is overwhelmed. We have the tower. So I feel like this emperor is awakening, okay? There's a lot of chaos going on mentally for this emperor. And the tower is an energy of them awakening here. But they're still procrastinating because they're rethinking something or they have clouded judgment. Tell me more about this. Yeah, they feel like they're protect like they think that they're protecting themselves by procrastinating, but they're trying to get to I feel like this, per this person is trying to um, master self here. And, and they're trying to figure something out, all right? And not only within themselves. Okay, we have the hanged man. So this is a pause because somebody is procrastinating coming toward you. I feel like for some of you guys, they may not have fully let go of something from their past. And they're gaining some type of enlightenment. They are taking a, a look at themselves. Okay, is what I'm getting. Let's see. What's going on here? The sun, they want you. They think you're withdrawn though. Six of cups. This person is really trying to understand your behavior. Okay, there may have been actions you took in the past. And they're trying to understand why you did what you did or why you're not coming forward. But this is, they're analyzing the past. Whatever, whatever happened between you two in the past, they're analyzing it. They're trying to, it's like they're trying to reveal something. They're trying to see with the sun, they're, they're, they're wanting to see the situation clearly. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords coming out in reverse, they're afraid that their judgment has been clouded toward the situation. So it's like they're overanalyzing the connection they feel with you. Okay. I feel this person is fearing that they live in La La Land or that something's not really... Well, they think you're really courageous for having these boundaries put in place. They see you as someone who's winning a battle or, you know, that you're successful. Oh, let's see. Or that you're getting attention here. Some of you guys could have posted something that they've seen on social media for sure. Let's see. 
Oh, yeah. They have a strong desire for you, Sagittarius. Okay. They want to take some sort of fateful step toward you, but they're overwhelmed with that seven of wands in reverse. They're exhausted. As a matter of fact, let's see. How do you see them? You see them as detached, investing in something else possibly. Huh. It's telling me you see some red flags within this situation. They're procrastinating, guys, coming forward is what I'm getting with this Three of Wands page of Pentacles in Reverse. It's interesting because they're very focused on you and they're trying to learn from their mistakes, but they're procrastinating speaking with you or telling you how they truly feel. Why are they doing this? Page of Wands. Okay, it says avoidance. I feel like this person is afraid that if they speak with you, they're going to find out that you don't want them the way they want you to want them. Looks like you do want them, though. So, guys, I have to say, I really just see a stalemate right now between you and someone else. I feel like there's a difficult decision. What's this difficult decision they need to make? They're, they're weighing their options here. Four of Swords. Someone's just not ready. What action will they take in the future? Seven of Swords. Acting strategically. Oh, okay. Sagittarius, this person is stalling, okay? And I feel like the reason why they're stalling is because they're very overwhelmed with the options they have. They have a strong emotional connection with you and they have a strong physical connection with you. No doubt about that. And they think a lot about you and they're analyzing the past. They're analyzing past interactions they've had with you. Okay. But their next actions towards you is to try to get away with something. It's acting strategically. They're stalling on purpose because one, there could be another person involved here. There could be someone else they're committed to and they haven't truly made a decision. So it's like they can desire you and feel this emotional bond with you all they want. But they're stalling. They're creating the delay in the future because I feel this person is committed to something else. Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of other conflict that they're afraid to go through. An obstacle, a struggle. And the struggle could be divorcing or moving out of the commitment that they've already attached themselves to. Yeah, so it's like, and then we have the devil. This is just your classic, someone's obsessing over you, but I feel like they're committed to something else. And they're really struggling with this. They're struggling. They're going through a crisis, guys. I have to tell you, there's a crisis that they're facing in their life. And they're delaying coming towards you because they're afraid of going through a struggle with another situation. And they're in a lot of pain. I feel like, you know, they obsess over you. They fixate. They're, they're heavily focused on you. And this person is kind of in this energy of like feeling they're going to be hurt either way. Okay. Losing you is painful, but there's something else they've worked for or there's some sort of traditional situation that they feel obligated toward right now. 
they're they're really feeling stuck. That's why they're 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 trying to act strategic in the future, but there's still more delays. It's strategically delaying a situation. And it's like if they come forward and give you an explanation as to what's really going on here, they're afraid that you're going to detach yourself from them. So leaving you in the cold, five of pentacles, and slowly, they feel like you're anticipating their return. And they feel like if they were to be open and honest and upfront with you about everything that's going on, you would abandon ship. They feel like you would completely let them go. Okay. That's why they don't, they're not clear. That's why they're procrastinating, you know, reaching out. Because they don't want to give you a clear, direct answer. Because they, they, they truly don't want you to move on. I mean, I, that's just what I'm saying. They don't want you to move on. But they're not making any decisions either. That's the problem. What do they want to say? Okay. Did they miss you? They feel you even though you were apart. They want you back. And that you don't know how hard it is to let you go. They're not letting you go. That's my problem with them. They're not letting you go because they're hoping you're going to hold on to the situation for as long as possible. So you got to ask your, what's Sagittarius's advice? I just feel like you got to ask yourself, you know, what do you feel like's in your best interest right now, Sagittarius? Because yeah, it's clear to me this person wants, they desire you, they miss you, they have these strong, intense emotions for you, just like you have for them. This is mutual. This is a mutual attraction, okay? My problem is they are acting strategically. They're doing all of this hell held back energy avoidance because they're still weighing their options, their, their pros and cons. Because they are afraid to go through a divorce or they're afraid to go through this five of wands. They don't, they don't want to have to deal with the five of wands. And so they're purposely creating these delays and creating resistance here because of their indecision. But they don't want to just come right out and say, hey, I don't know what I want. They don't want to come out and tell you the truth because they feel like you'll move on. Well, your advice is the queen of wands, baby. Queen of wands is social, okay? She's independent. She has confidence and courage to put herself back out there. She's determined. So I feel it's all about focusing on yourself. And you have excellent qualities here. Okay, you're an amazing catch. So your um, advice is to get out, try to get out of this pessimistic energy. I feel like your advice is to put yourself back out there. Okay. There, you know, some of you guys need to just move on for now. I mean, that's just plain as day what I'm getting because you're clearly missing someone here and you're very disappointed how they are. You're disappointed by the way they're treating the situation and by the way they're treating you. And so your guides are saying to release this right now. Put yourself back out there. Meet new people. Even if you don't want to meet new people, don't do that. But take action towards something that is going to benefit your future self. The Queen of Wands, you know, she's also this energy of like, she, she's determined to go after what it is she wants. So I feel like if there's any sort of goal that you've been wanting to accomplish, you need to transmute this energy of disappointment and put it into benefiting yourself to upping your confidence, okay? We're going to do Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. 
I'm gonna get a sip of coffee real quick. Okay, um, now the main signs that came out in this reading, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, strong Scorpio and Aquarius, okay, Libra, could be any sign though, okay, we have water energy, Aries through Pisces, please, Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, the King of Cups in reverse, they're very emotional over you. Three of Pentacles. This Aries has recognized the connection and, you know, I feel like they're just overly emotional. Oh, gosh. But this overly emotional energy, it's, it's, it's coming from other things in their life other than you. It's just they're really overwhelmed. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Queen of Cups, they have feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, there's some movement coming in from a Gemini. What kind of movement? The Empress in reverse. The Gemini is leaving somebody else for you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer is afraid to take action. If you're dealing with a Leo, there's some drama coming in from a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're in their head about you, okay? This Virgo, uh, they're purposely holding themselves back. They're in their head. If you're dealing with a Libra, they want to make peace with you. Okay, the Libra wants to resolve the issues you two have. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's communication coming in. If you're dealing with another Sagittarius, you live in this other, if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, you live in their head, okay? They're in mental conflict over you. They're restless. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, if you have a little bit more patience, I do see a Capricorn coming toward you, but their Capricorn is moving very slowly. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're stubborn. They're the Aquarius is trying to hold on to control right now. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces is having a hard, the Pisces thinks they're going crazy. They're having a hard time uh, waking up. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the Pisces doesn't want to miss out on opportunity with you, but they also think they're losing their mind at the same time. I feel like there's a lot of chaos going on. This Pisces is going through a crisis, a mental crisis here. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.